guys, my name is Kaloya and welcome to my channel. Remember that series I created a few months ago called Drawing Char Book Characters? first episode I drew Mare Barrow from uh, the Red Queen series. And yeah, today I decided I need to continue that series. I had so much fun with doing that series, like reading this, those character descriptions, just like reminding myself how they look like and I could visual visualize them. Last time I did that thing, um, my first episode, I drew, I colored the drawing with markers, but today I decided I would want to do something else, like, you see, like, that I use really much markers on this channel, but I want to use something else, just, like, go somewhere else, some, I want to try something new, I want to do something I have never done before, or something I am really bad at, so, yeah. As you see here, I have sketched my drawing on watercolor paper and yeah so that means we are going to do some watercolor painting today and honestly I'm really really bad at watercolors I'm bad at like everything with watercolors but I want to learn it so I think that practice makes perfect I haven't mentioned who I'm going to draw today I'm going to draw Hermione Granger from Harry Potter I am a really, really big fan of Harry Potter, uh, I love the movies, I love the books, I have read them like a thousand times, so I thought, hi, let's make Hermione Granger. And yeah, in this series, like this my series, book, char book, char book character series, I am like combining my style with like this uh, with character design, so I thought I'm going to combine manga with Harry Potter. I'm also a really big fan of anime and manga, so I thought why do not combine like two things I love most and make something awesome from it. And I also make a challenge for myself with painting with watercolors. I found some brushes, I hope they work. This is the Faber Castle brush, so I hope this all works. And I bought especially for this thing like brush that can like contain water it's called water brush and yeah you might ask what watercolors I'm going to use I'm going to mainly use uh, Faber Castell watercolors everything is from Faber Castell <laughs> and I'm going to use Faber Castell watercolor pencils uh, this is the Albert Dürer Magnus pencils and they're like uh, thicker than the normal Albert Dürer and yeah and this uh, brush is from this set, this set so yeah and the reason why I'm going to use like both of them is because I don't have every color in wa watercolor pencils and uh, like for example the skin color I have it only in paint form so it's going to like it's going to be hard to make a skin color out of uh, pencils but uh, hopefully it will work with uh, watercolor paint and uh, also I'm going I think that watercolor pencils are more precise and they are easier like to use so I hope that will work also, I need to get a cup of water because it's watercolor, so yeah, you, you won't do anything if you don't have water. Just before I start painting, I'm going to tape uh, the paper down to the, uh, down to, like, to the table because when you use water, the paper will become wavy and it will be really, really hard to paint with it. So I'm just going to tape it down and I hope uh, it won't be so as as much wavy as it would if it wasn't like taped yeah this is like my tips for watercoloring a tips uh, a tip it's just like you you want you want like to be air under it because if it is air under it it will like the paint will go under the tape and it will look off afterwards and if you do, do it precise you will have like nice white frames also you shouldn't like take like half of the tape over the paper because the, uh, uh, the watercolor paint paper is really really fragile I could call it can be easily destroyed if you take this tape like 
like over hold paper and you need to be really careful when you take off uh, this tape also. I recommend you to take any ruler you have and just do it this way then you will have a nice effect that will and yeah it, will, it is the best way to flatten out the tape. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Okay, so this is my Hermione Granger. 
<laughs> I don't know what to say about this picture. So let me tell you what I did. So basically I thought that she's in Gryffindor, so she need to have like this Gryffindor scarf and I thought that it's October right now outside, so I'm going to do like more winter look. Uh, give her like more winter style. Uh, I painted her, her hair brown because she has like this blonde brownish hair, so I thought this will be like okay. A brown eyes of course, she has brown eyes. And yeah, what to say more about it. It was like really challenging because I'm not good at watercolor. But I'm really happy for the effect I got on this picture. It, in life it looks much better than on the camera. Because everything in life looks much better than on the camera. But <laughs> oh, it's okay. But yeah, it, it was really, really fun to do it. <laughs> it took me like four hours to paint it. But <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It was really fun. It was like, like I learned really much. I thought that after after a while I did this, it, like my watercolor skills got better and better. So this is my recommendation for you: just practice it, practice, practice, and then you will reach the perfection. So yeah, that's all for that's all for today. On my amino art, I'm going to make a poll and ask you which person which book character i'm going to paint or draw or whatever uh, uh we'll do in the next episode so yeah i hope you like this episode go and check out my aminart remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to all get the notification and leave a like because that really motivates me <laughs> okay bye bye